Good morning. So today we will uh, see the other variety of problem. Generally we are going to encounter whenever we are doing problems in projections of planes. Okay, let us see this problem. A thin rectangular plate of size 60 by 30 mm has its shorter side in the DP and inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Okay, then project its top view. If it is front view, it is a square of 30 mm long sides. So as you can just read this particular problem, if you just observe, I have given one inclination. I have given inclination 30 degrees. So this inclination 30 degrees with reference to what I have given, I have just given this 30 degrees with reference to the side. That is, I have given a rectangular plate having a shorter side in the VP which is in the 30 degrees. That is, I have given the side inclination. But uh, we know that the side inclination generally has to be satisfied at the later stages. Okay. Now, if we just read the next sentence. The next sentence has given that draw its top view if it is front view is a square of 30 mm long sides. Then we say that this particular rectangular plate which when you draw the front view it should be seen as a square. Okay. Since this particular rectangular plate to be seen as a square, then we know that that particular rectangular plate has to be inclined to that particular view only. Now it is given that this particular rectangular plate is seen as a square in front view. Since this is seen as a square in the front view means it should be seen as a square in the front view means what? We need to say that the lamina to be inclined to what? What plane then? Because if it is this, this is the lamina. Let us say if I just put the lamina in this particular way. So this is a rectangular plate. Okay. Now the front view should be seen as a square. So when it will be seen as a square, when it is inclined to be P. Because anyway, if you see from the front end, so that this particular side and this particular side will be seen as if it is come closer to this. That would say that in the front view, it is seen as a square. Okay, now since it is seen as a square in the front view, this particular lamina has to be inclined to what plane? It should be inclined to VP. Now, we know that when the lamina is inclined to VP, that is surface is inclined to VP. Now, I told you that wherever we have the side inclination and surface inclination, I need to show the, I need to show the surface inclination first. Then what do you do then? Now, since the surface is inclined to VP, I will assume that surface should be parallel to VP. Okay, now since the surface is parallel to VP, true shape and size will be seen in front view. So, we will start from front view. Okay, how do you draw the front view? Next question. Because orientation is important now. So, what about the orientation? It is given that this particular thin rectangular plate has its shorter side in the VP. Now, we know that since it is given that one of the shorter side is in VP, initially that particular shorter side in the front view should be taken perpendicular to XY line or that particular side has to be perpendicular to HP. So, I will draw the square here. That is, I am just going to draw in this way. So, draw the square in the front view. Then, what about the corresponding top view? Top view will be seen as a line which will be on XY line itself. Okay, then what do you do there? Since I am considering like this, then I am going to rotate in this way. This is what I am doing. Now, once I rotate like this, what will happen? This particular side, if I look from the front, it will be seen as if it is coming closer to this. Okay, now anyway, I have not given inclination. Instead of inclination, I have given already the shape in the front view. That is, once it is inclined to VP, the shape of the front view has been given to you. So, what is the shape? This rectangular plate, I want this particular rectangular plate to be seen as a square. They would say that I need to consider the square here. So once I make it square, you can see that this particular lamina will get inclined to VP. Okay, they would say that instead of giving the inclination, so generally what we used to do, I used to show this inclination with reference to VP in the top view. So I need to rotate the top view where it is seen as a line now. Then I would have got the corresponding front view now. I know the front view, get the corresponding inclination in the top view. So this is what I am going to do in the second stage. So what about the third stage? Now as you can see, we have given the surface inclination. 
but it is also given that the shorter side is in BP and that particular shorter side is inclined that 30 degree to HP. Now tell me what is that particular side now? This particular shorter side now it is actually perpendicular to HP. How I wanted this particular side to be? I wanted this particular side to be inclined to HP. Then what to do then? I am going to rotate it this way. Either rotate like this or like this. So if I rotate like this, what will happen? The shape and size remain same. That is, in the third shape, I am going to redraw the redraw the which view top view such that the side which was perpendicular, I need to make it inclined. Is it clear? So once I get that, I am going to get the corresponding new printing. Okay. So let us do this. So as usual. Let us start with the x y line. I will draw the x y line. Then I will may as I was telling you, the scene is a square in the frame. So they would say that the lamina to be inclined to V P. Since the lamina is inclined to V P, true shape and size will be seen in front view. I need to start from front view. But anyway, since I wanted one of the shorter side to be in V P, that particular side to be taken perpendicular x y line in the front view. So that's what I am going to do. So I am just going to draw the rectangle in the front view ok so let me show the namix a dash b dash c dash and d dash anyway i wanted this particular short term try to be in vp so i will consider that entire lamina to lie on x y line itself that is the lamina with the seen as a line will be taken on x y line because I am considering this entire lamina to be in v p itself. So get this. Is it okay? Then a b c d. So stage one is over. What about stage two? Stage two. Instead of giving you the surface inclination with reference to VP, I have directly given what is the shape of the front view when it is inclined to VP. So, what is the shape we are given? We are given that the shape has to be seen as a square only. Now, see, it cannot other than that because once I start inclining this, what will happen? At a particular point, it will become a square. Otherwise, if I keep on with inclination, this particular side keeps on coming closer. That means it remains always rectangle only. But only thing is having different dimensions. So there is only one unique solution wherein this will be seen as a square when this particular lamina is intended only at a particular angle with reference to VP. So as you can see the true shape or the shape of the front view is given to us. So first draw that. So how do you get that? Anyway I know that this is the front view. Then the next front view let us say I am going to write in the same level. Okay let us draw this projectors. Then let me consider So this is my new front view now So I had already written the front view So A dash B dash C dash And D dash Now with this new front view I should show the inclination in the top view How do you show that? Anyway I know that this A B I mean A D because anyway a shorter side AD is in VP itself, so it should be around it. So the projector through this has to be around it. So this is A as well as D. What about the C and B? As you can see, I should keep on rotating. So if I keep on rotating, this particular BC will keep on coming closer. How much it should come closer? It should come closer such that this particular side, which was how much? 60. The 60 would have become 30. That would say that if I draw the projector through this, then what will do then? Anyway, this lamina will not be, it will not be compressed now, it should be the same length. Then what will do then? I know that the projector through P and C should be on this particular projector only. But anyway, I know that the lamina has to be inclined to VP. Then what I do is, I will take this, anyway, this is 60 now. So take this 60, take the compass and draw an arc. Okay, so draw the arc so that I am going to get the lamina now which is inclined to a particular angle. So what is that angle now? That angle can be considered as what angle? Phi. So now only if this phi is 
to this particular angle, then only your uh, front view will be seen as a square. Okay, now again these points are, what are the points here? It is B, C in brackets. Is it clear? So as you can see, it is just reverse of what we did earlier. I used to give the inclination, you are supposed to find the whatever the smaller size you are in, but anyway now I am sure that your smaller size of the rectangular lamina has to be a square. That is the reason this inclination has been fixed for this particular true shape, which I mean which is a seen as a square in the front game. Okay, this is second stage. What about the third stage? Now as you can see, we have satisfied surface inclination. What else you need to satisfy? It is also given that the shorter side not only it is in the and it is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Then what you do then? Okay, now where do you see this inclination of HP? Inclination of HP will be seen in front view. Then what you need to do? The side which is now resting on VP as such in the second stage, it is still it is perpendicular to HP. Now how it should be? It should be inclined at 30 to HP. That means say that I need to redraw this figure. Why you are redrawing the figure? Because inclination remains constant. With reference to VP. Obviously, since inclination remains constant, the shape will not change. That means say that in that direction, always remember we need to redraw the corresponding figure. In this case, we are redrawing the front view. Okay, so let me consider that. Let us say this is my 30 degree line. So upon this 30 degree line, I will take this. So now we can see this angle is theta which is given as 30 degrees. Anyway, I just written like this. So I am just retaining u dash 0 which is a dash, u dash, c dash, d dash. So as you can see, I have considered that c d nearer to x1 and need not be. Even if you can do it in the other way also you can do. But only thing is, when you get the corresponding view here that is in the new top view, you should be careful about the projection of the points on a corresponding Navix. Is it okay? Now anyway, I need to get the corresponding new top. How do you get the new top view? As usual, draw the vertical projectors from the new front view. Draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view. So get this. Let us say this is A. B. This is not A. I think this should be A now. Just remember, A is here. Then, uh, what about uh, B? B should be here. C. Where is C? Here. Then, D. Where is D? On X1. So, this is D. So, A, B, C, D. Again, join them in the same proper sequence. So, what are the sequence? A to B. B to C, C to D, D back to A. Now we can see in the final figure, the front view seen as a square, not only that, the side which is resting on VP, that is AD, is inclined at 30 degrees to HP, so that the lamina will be seen as a smaller size in both the views. That means say that this particular rectangular plate we are considering it as an optic plane. Is it okay? Thank you.